Hey everyone and welcome to this um, video. I'm super excited to get this rolling. Um, in this video we're going to be taking five basic Linux commands for you to get started as a beginner. This is my own pick and I'm really sure it's going to be beneficial to you. I'm on a Ubuntu Linux distribution and I'm actually just going to open up my terminal here and I'm also going to open up my folders and file view. Great, so let's get started. If you notice on the left Okay, actually that's right. On the right top of my screen, um, I've got a list of commands here that um, we're going to be running through. Yeah, I know I said five. The sixth one is more or less an essential one that is not really going to take us any time, but you just need to know that that exists. So the first one, let's get started, is called ls. And what this command does is it lists the content of our directory. So I'm actually in my home folder. In here, so this is my home folder. These are the folders, these are the files. You've seen a lot of things here, and this is the same directory I'm in here. And you can see the desktop, you can see the downloads, you can see music, and all of that. But there's some files we're not seeing, there's some folders we're not seeing, and those folders seem to be the ones that start with a dot. And the reason for that is because any file or folder that starts with a dot in Linux it is treated as a hidden file. So dot folders, folders start with dot, files start with dot, they are treated as hidden files. And the way to see hidden files on the terminal, if you say ls and you put a hyphen a, that will show you all this content you can see here. And there you go. You can also use the ls command to see what is in another directory. So for example, I'm in my home folder, but I want to see what's inside of the downloads directory. I can simply just do, um, I'm going to I'm going to explain what this is but I'm going to provide a full path so starting from my root I'm going to provide a path to that folder that I want to view I'm going to say enter and you can see it shows it tells me there's a test folder so folders are um, blue files are white I'm going to open up my downloads folder and you can see there's actually a test folder and you're not seeing this other folder because remember it starts with a dot so it's hidden by default if I were to use my up arrow, get back my previous command, if I were to say hyphen A here, and I hit enter, now you can see the hidden folder. That's a really useful command, PWD. Now let me get into explaining what this absolute path is. And to do that, I have the PWD command for me. And that simply states print working directory. I'm going to hit enter, and you can see that it shows me exactly where I am. So I'm in my home folder. And this here is really just going to be your username. So my username is Hale. Um, your username can be Steve, could be Bob. Whatever your username is, that's what's going to be here. But it's going to be your home folder. As you can see on the on this app here, um, in my home folder, that's where I've got all of these. So this is just specifying, oh, this is the home folder of this user. And that's the way Linux designs it. Great. So we're going to come back to the PWD and see how useful it can be. But let's get into the cd command. So I know the folders that exist inside of this correct directory I'm in. So if I do cd, and that stands for change directory. So I want to change directory, I want to go somewhere else. And I can say, oh, let's go to my downloads folder. Um, my downloads folder, yeah. So let's go to my downloads folder. You can see something changed. I'm seeing a forward slash downloads. And I'm going to open up my downloads folder. And I've got two files in there, test, great. So if I do ls on this, you can see my um, test folder. So I've changed directory now to the downloads folder. What if I wanted to go back up one folder? So back up one folder would be the home folder. We can simply do a cd dot space dot dot. Now if I hit enter, it takes me back up to the home folder, or rather to the folder in, right above it. Something you need to remember about um, the terminal here in Linux, it's, it's really case sensitive. So you want to be careful when you um, when you're typing. It's case sensitive. Great. The next command we're going to be working with now is still the cd command, but let's look at something um, more complex. So autocomplete in the terminal is actually tab, and I'm also going to cd into test. Great. So what if I'm all the way down here? I'm going to do pwd in here. You can see that shows me where I am. What if I'm all the way down here in test, 
But I want to go back all the way. I'm down here in test. I want to go back all the way to hail home. But I don't want to have to start going cd dot dot to my home folder, to my downloads folder, and then doing that again to my home folder. The two ways to do this, I can simply do cd home hail, and that takes me back up to that folder. But I'm going to quickly go back down there. Um, I'm going to quickly go back down. Great. But if I didn't want to do cd home hail, which is a lot of typing, I could do cd. And what that does, CD without anything, takes you back up to the root folder, the home folder where it all started, where it all began. And that is it for the CD um, command. You can then move on to the next command, which is the cat command. And for this, I'm going to go into my desktop because that's where I've got um, a file open. I'm going to open up this file for you, test.txt, which is on my desktop. It says, hey, this is a test file. Oh, nice. What if I didn't want to have to stop looking for the file to open it up, but I knew it was in this folder in the terminal? I can simply view the content of the file with cat, and I could do that by saying cat. Now, I'm going to provide the file name and the extension. If I hit enter, it says, hey, this is a test file. And remember, that is what was in the file. So cat shows you the content of the file you provide. The other use cases for cat, you could say cat, and then if you put this forward arrow, and we say, test1.txt. Remember this doesn't exist, there's nothing on my desktop except um, test.txt. So I'm going to say cat test.txt forward arrow test1.txt. What this is going to do, remember cat te test.txt returns the content of the file. So once you put that forward arrow sign, it tells it, oh, what you're bringing out, push it to this. And I then say, oh, test1.txt. And I'm going to hit enter. Nothing happens, but you see on my desktop, I've got a test1.txt. If I were to open that up, you see the content. And I could also cat that on the terminal here. I can say cat test1. And if I do tab, it's going to autocomplete. And I hit enter. You can see the content has been pushed to that file as well. It's still in the main file, but also you can easily replicate it. Another way to create um, new files would be to say touch and then we're going to use a touch command, so touch, you can easily specify the name of the file. I'm just going to say new file.txt. And that creates a new MT file for me over there. That is a touch command. And there are so many use cases for how to use it. I'll leave you to explore that. Last one, which I said is really essential and I can't skip, is the clear command. So our screen's really messed up. And I, I, I don't like my screen like this. I just want to clear the terminal and keep working. I'm just going to do clear and hit enter. And that takes off all the content off my terminal. That's it. Those are six, five plus one um, commands for Linux beginners. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe to this um, channel. And I will see you in another video.